cup of hot, cup of cold. That's what we're doing. Cup of each. One cup of each. I like the rubber bottom. You can do powder or liquid. These are the best, and they don't rub off. These are the best ones I've ever had. I can't find them again. These are pretty old. <coughs> there we go. Come hot. Coming right towards ya. Ooh, it's all nice and steamy. Okay, so we are going to pour a cup of boiling water in there. That. And then we're going to stir it. all those little uh, jello crystals up off the bottom of the dish. So really the trick to making jello is to dissolve everything in the hot water before you put the cold water in there. So that's why it's a cup of hot then a cup of cold water. And once it's all dissolved, I like to get it all off the sides and stuff too. Because sometimes it gets, you just get like messy with it and it's all up the sides and shit like it is now, right? So if I just get it all up off the sides, then, then I know it's all dissolved. So, and when it's all dissolved and you push it up onto the sides, it doesn't have all those little gritty grittiness like that right there. So, it ain't quite all dissolved. <laughs> but I'll just keep doing it until it is all dissolved. So. Okay, I see what's wrong here. Well, there you go. When you get old, you might as well just have a cup of hair to just drop a hair or two in every dish. I swear. But no, I caught it. I caught it before it was too late. I'm not saying there's not another one in there, but I don't feel like I've gotten that close to it. Okay, so now we're ready for a cup of cold. I'm not sure this is cold still, but we'll see. And the other thing is the bubbles. You don't want bubbles. You don't want the bubbles. And now we're gonna do a cup of cold. Pretty cold. It feels cold. This is it cold? Mm-hmm. Mm. And I love cold water, but it's not too good for your system. It'll shock your system. And my system is already very sensitive. So I drink um, room temperature water. I have a tendency to drink my coffee too hot. Everything else I drink is pretty much room temperature. Other than this hot apple cider that I'm loving so much. It's kind of stuck to the bottom there. Oh, well, there you go. Jeez. <sighs> Dang. Let's not do that, okay? Let's, let's not do that. Jello fingers on my my red jello fingers on my maroon, maroon jacket. Black maroon, you know. Either way, it'd be okay. My white one, not so much. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a white one. Probably why. There. So once you have that all uh, incorporated and no bubbles, no bubbles, no troubles. No bubbles for today. That's just a little ditty I just made up right now. <laughs> Stop. It's pot already. Where do you think you're going, buddy? You have already popped. Pop it out the bubble and it'll pop it back up for you. All right, no more bubbles. So now what you want to do is you want to take saran wrap and your scissors because oh you know I might be able to cut I might be able to cut 
There is a blade on this one. I'm not sure it's going to work. But, however. Maybe it would work if I was right-handed. <laughs> then it seems to want to cut over on the right, but not on the left. Maybe it's right-handed saran wrap. <laughs> I think everything's pretty much made right-handed, unless it's specifically made for a left-handed person. And then it will say, like, when I, I don't know what I'm doing. Come on, you know what, you know what you're doing. And a, what you're trying to do here is you're trying to set it, the saran wrap down on the top of the jello. So, and the rest, the, the blue, I can't even talk today. The less wrinkles, the better, because that's what the top of your jello is going to look like. So, if you want the top of your jello to be nice and smooth, you want to make sure there's no wrinkles. But if you get the wrinkles and the bubbles out, yeah. So I'm just going for the bubbles, really. That's kind of where I'm going. I don't want bubbles. So, and I like the top to have that soft jello coating. I don't like it when you got that thick, hard, kind of jello-y surface. No, that is not what I'm looking for. So, do this if that doesn't happen. And then in the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours, two to four hours, something like that. And, but usually I just let it go overnight until I have some. Um, so, unfortunately, I was not prepared <laughs> for this little adventure of making jello. There we go. Right there is good. Now, I'm going to have a mess of this in a couple of days. Or a day. <laughs> Yeah, I think I had a glass of this yesterday morning. I have one more glass left. Here's left here. Mm. Five minutes left for the muffins. Ooh, they are looking good. Good, good, good. They're all puffing up and everything. I'm going to put basil in here, and then I decided to hold off for a little while longer. Let these other ingredients incorporate a little, a little bit better. Well, I don't think it's, like, too thin or too thick, so I don't think I'll need any of that paste. I might want to thicken it up just a little bit, so I will use a little bit of that paste. I wanted to take a taste of it, and I'm down to my last clean spoon. Actually, I'm going to leave that one in there. And these are these. I got these two. These are not bad. This time I want to kind of get some of the things, um, preferably a pepper, a green onion. Yeah, okay. Take that too. Okay. That's delicious. Put another green onion in there. Mm -hmm. So here's my idea. I take half of this. just a bowl of this all by itself. So I take half of this and put the turkey and some milk in it, make that ragu, right? And the other half, I make for spaghetti or uh, lasagna. cheese, cottage cheese.
would do cottage cheese, cream cheese, sour cream, um, pepper jack, Kobe jack, cheddar if I had it. That's a good sauce. I may have cheated, which I usually do. Um, I'm okay with it. But I just don't, you know, my culinary skills are. I would love to home make everything, <laughs> but nothing would get done if I did because of my illness. So I have to make certain things easy. Like taking raw tomatoes and making this. I have to blanch them, I gotta peel them, I gotta cook them down, cook them down some more. That's not easy, you know. Well, I was just chewing on my right too. So, something's working out. Mm. I've missed this so much. But, I do not want to go overboard. Alright, Skippy. We got cornbread coming out of the oven, but you're in my way. Am I gonna burn my muffin? I don't wanna burn my muffin, dude. Gotta move now. You cannot have cashews, no nuts for you. You cannot have eggnog. It's too rich for your belly. Move out my way, please. Gotta move, come on, move. You are not going to be stubborn. Now move. You're going to make me burn my muffins. What is wrong with you? When I get the meat out, I'll give you a bite of the meat. You're a carnivore. Can't have nuts. I'm gonna go another three minutes, which is the full 17. I hope it works. My dog is crying because I'm eating without him. I don't know what to do. What do you think? What do you think, Skippy? You want to share a banana? Cut this sucker open. I love bananas cut open that way. You can get half, you can get another half. I like to take all the little stringy things off as well. And yeah. we're having banana right now. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? Rice checks with a banana cut on top. Oh my god, that's so good. Berries and a banana. Or oatmeal with banana and berries on top. Mm. I might have to go buy some more bananas today. Because this is the last one. 
And Skippy and I are saying, we need more banana. <laughs> you like banana, don't you, sweetie? And I know dogs are not supposed to have seeds. And most of you are saying, but bananas don't have seeds. Well, yes they do. I beg to differ. I will show you a banana seed. They are in every single banana. But they're so tiny. They're so, so tiny. See that dot right there? That right there. I cannot get it on my finger. See that? That dot right there on my finger? That is a banana seed. That's how tiny they are. See? Little tiny banana seed. If you take a banana, I think I'll get my muffins out first, and then I'll show you. Oh yeah, they're done for sure. They're probably perfect. Oh, look at that. Don't those look good? Yeah, me. Oh, I think I'm going to need to get these out of the pan really, really quickly. Myself, really quickly. We're going to have to get these out. So I need a plate to put them on. It's an emergency. Let's get her done. Let's get them out. Get them out quickly, 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 sir, before they burn. Now there was a couple I didn't put no oil in, so a couple of them are gonna stick because I didn't, there was no oil in there. I didn't spray those two holes. Oh, you know what? Damn it. Sure. Yeah. Well. All right. So they're a little dark on the bottom. <laughs> they're a little, they're a lot dark on the, no, you know what, yeah, all right, well, darn it, check so darn, you know, I, sh I knew I should have just did that one pan, one little pan, you better move, because you are going to get hurt if this pan goes down, move, don't make me yell at you, God, I must have said it, young man, look at that, I ruined them. I ruined them. You know, it was, yeah, this one's not that bad. It was probably the, because they were honey. And the ones that I actually sprayed are coming out a lot better. They rose better for sure. You can tell the difference in that. Absolutely. And they're, oh, the mirror start. I'm still having trouble, though. I'm still struggling. Mmm. That's good, though. I, I like my... See, I do that out there. I like them like that. No, I didn't. Oh, they're a little dark. I just have to say, they're a little dark. Not too bad, but... Um, I do want to point out... See the difference? In the uh, these two, see these two, see the difference in how much they rose. This was no oil, and this was oil. So, I guess I'm not sure. I'm not sure what made these rise more than these. I did turn the pan around, but I don't know. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, buddy. Butter going on this, and if you can believe it, yes, I just pulled out yet another hair. I don't know why. Gosh, I'm gonna start putting my hair up because it's so fly away. What's wrong with it? It's gotta be the shampoo I'm using. Hmm. A little bit of butter on there. I want some butter right here. Everything is better with butter. Mm, it's melted butter too. Yep. 
I don't know why you're so melted. That's a lot of butter. Is that a lot of butter? I like a lot of butter. And, not to mention, I like this butter. I'm just making a mess. It don't matter. It don't even matter. I'm hungry. And this is this is what happens when I get hungry. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, boy. The honey version is the way to go. Mm -hmm. I would say one or two less minutes for sure. Yeah. Delicious though. I'm very happy. And yeah, they're a little dark under there, but that just, oh man, it just gives it that little bit of crunch that it needs, you know? I don't know where the, oh, there it is. Like, there's no way I put it, I wouldn't put it in the sink. I know myself well enough to know and not put the butter knife in the sink. <laughs> Okay, this is what happens when you don't clean it. Clean as you go. And this is why I do the things I do, like the lid. So there's not two spaces with the lid, with the one thing. I try and clean as I go. These I want in the cabinet with the other almonds and stuff. Yeah, this bread is delicious. Um, the cornbread is very good already. And then you add that honey. And a little bit of this crispiness. It's not crispy on the bottom. It's only crispy around the edge. Yeah. But just that little bit, man. I'll tell you, it's delicious. So check, check, text your good, taste good. I will be buying the honey ones from now on. Or adding my own honey. So. Mm -hmm. I bet you, if I made cornbread from scratch, it would be bomb if I have some cornmeal in there. I've done it from scratch before. We got banana strings. We got some banana strings all over the place, Skippy. I'm gonna end up eating these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I so I had seven. I know I have six. And by the time dinner rolls around, I will have these three, and I will say, "No, babe, you take two. And I'll just take the one because then I've eaten one, two, three, four already. So I'll take one, which makes five for me and two for him. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? No, I wouldn't do that. I eat something and then I don't want more. Usually. Not usually. Sometimes the little things in life that you are so unexpected to put a smile on your face. And that's one of them. Yeah. Yes, sir, Bob. <clears throat> Those uh, cornmeal muffins are delicious. I don't know, Skippy. Do you think you should try one? They're a little warm, but we got some banana, we got some cashew, and we got some corn muffins going on right here. A little bit of eggnog, some water. Dang, feel like a queen. <laughs> and my belly shows it. No, I'm kidding. 
I'm not that fat. I'm short. Had I grown to my height potential, 5'7", what all my sisters are, <laughs> instead of 5'2", like my mom. I think my mom was 5'2", so much. But, when you get old, you start shrinking. I mean, for example, I used to be 5'2 and a half. Now I'm like 5'1 and a half. But worth a half an inch, right? I just call it 5'2. <laughs> I don't know how tall I am anymore. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for a little while longer. Then we're going to start the noodles, put the rest of the spices in, and see how it tastes. I think it's going to be delicious. We'll see. So, I don't want to forget about it. So I'm going to go 20 minutes, and I'll stir it like every 20 minutes. There we go. Yes, I need to put peanuts that you can have, but you can have banana. Even though banana has seeds in it. The seeds are so small that they're hardly even noticeable. But that's what's in the middle of the banana. If you were to break it open, you would see the seeds there. But right down the middle there, you kind of see those little seeds. That's, those are banana seeds. Yep. But they're just so tiny and minute. Split the last bite with you. Okay, here you go. That was it, last bite. It's all gone now. So we have had our snack for today, our morning snack. There we go. That was good. That was a good snack. Come, oh, Skippy. You didn't get none of this, did you? Poor thing. Because it's too hot for you right now. I like corn muffin. Corn muffins with honey. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of happiness in my life. Why on earth? Why, why, why? Am I just seeing things? Yeah, I am. I guess. I'm like, why do I have a hair in my butter? I would have flipped out by that time. Like, dude. You're out to put a hairnet on. <laughs> Get out. Well. I got a little too comfortable there for a minute. My mouth said, oh, no, you don't. And watch yourself. Yeah. So. Painful, yes. Brought me to tears. Not quite. <laughs> Anyways. 16 more minutes for me to sit and rest before I've got to stir the sauce. I'll probably do this two or three times. 
come back at the end when I get the, the pasta going for the noodles. And um, we're, my dog and I are going to skip finish this uh, cornbread muffin right here that we've just completely devoured already. Um, yeah. I don't know how to feed this to you because it's so crumbly. It's so crumbly. I'm making a mess. I really am. I'm, I don't even really care, to be honest. I'm used to making messes. If I just take it slow, everything in my mouth stays a okay. Let your guard down for a second. And you're fucked. Okay, that's it. It's all gone. Now I got messy hands. We're done, Skippy. We're done. Mm -mm. No. All right, well. Thanks for joining me for snack time. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video after the sauce is done and the spaghetti. I'm sorry, excuse me. The fettuccine ragu noodles get going. I'll let you know.